This video is about differentiating functions with e and functions with ln. So there's two outcomes that we need to know. We need to know that if y equals e to the power of x, dy dx is also e to the power of x. If y equals ln x, dy dx is 1 over x. So there's only two new bits of information here. So if y equals ex, dy dx is also ex. If y equals ln x, dy dx is 1 over x. And then when we're differentiating these functions, we're applying the chain rule, we're applying the product rule, and we're applying the quotient rule. So two new bits of information and just applications of them involving the other rules. So these questions I've got here, these are chain rule questions. So we've got a function within a function. So you can think of it as having a bracket. So we've got y equals e to x. So if we're differentiating that, it stays exactly the same. And we times by the bracket differentiated. So 2x differentiated is 2, so we times by 2, and that's our answer. The same thing for question 2 here, so we're going to leave it exactly the same, because we're differentiating e, and then we times by the bracket differentiated, which in this case is 3. So it'd be 3e e to the power of 3x minus 1. The same thing for our ln functions, so dy dx is 1 over whatever's in the bracket, so 1 over 2x in this case, and then times by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So if we times it by 2, we get 2 over 2x, which simplifies half in the top and the bottom to 1 over x. And question 2, dy dx will be 1 over 3x minus 1, multiplied by the bracket differentiated, so times 3, so that gives us 3 over 3x minus 1. Okay, so we've got two more questions uh, for each of these, so two more ex questions, two more ln questions. I'm going to go through these ones, and I'll give you some similar questions after, so you can pause the video and give them a go. For number one, we have two functions multiplied together now. So we've got x times e to the power of 2x. So that is a product rule question. So we're going to say that u equals x. So du dx is going to equal 1. And v equals e to the power of 2x. So dv dx is going to be, well, we're going to keep it the same. And then times by the bracket differentiated. So in this case, the bracket is 2x. So that differentiated is 2. So we've got 2e, 2x. Then we're going to apply the product rule. So u dv dx. I'll write it up here. So u dv dx plus v du dx. So u dv dx, x times 2e 2x. So dy dx. So if I do 2 times x, I've got 2x. Then times e 2x plus v du dx, which is e 2x. And that is our differentiated function. Okay, question two here. We've now got a quotient rule question. We've got two things divided by each other, a function divided by another function. So we've got a quotient rule question. So we're going to say that u equals e to the power of x, which means du dx is also e to the power of x. v is 2x plus 1, so dv dx 
is going to be 2. And the quotient rule, if I write that down, so the quotient rule says we want v du dx minus u dv dx over v squared. So we just substitute into that. So dy dx is v du dx, so 2x plus 1 times ex minus u dv dx, so 2ex over v squared, 2x plus 1 squared. And that's our answer. Okay, on to the second side now, so the ln functions. So we're going to have, again, we've got two functions multiplied together, so it's a product rule, the top one. So we're going to say u is x, so du dx is 1. And we're going to say that v equals ln 2x, so dv dx is well, 1 over 2x multiplied by the bracket differentiated, which is 2. So that's 2 over 2x, which is 1 over x. So 1 over x. The product rule is u dv dx. dy dx is going to be u dv dx. So x times 1 over x, which is going to be 1, plus v du dx, 1 times ln 2x is going to be ln 2x. And question two. So we've got a quotient rule question. We're going to have u as ln x, which makes du dx 1 over x. And we'll say that v is 2x plus 1, which makes dv dx 2. So we've got the quotient rule here. So we're going to do v du dx which is going to be 2x plus 1 over x minus u dv dx 2 ln x over v squared 2x plus 1 squared. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, so here are some questions for you to try. Pause the video, give them a go, and then hit play when you're ready to go through the answers. Okay, let's look at question one. So we've got a product rule question. Two functions multiplied together. U equals 2x. So du dx is 2. V equals e to the power of 3x. So dv dx is going to be 3e, 3x. So keep it the same and then multiply by the bracket differentiated. Then we're going to just substitute them in for the product rule. So u dv dx. So 3 times 2x is 6x. So we've got 6x e 3x plus v du dx, which is 2e to the power of 3x. And we can leave it like that. Question two. So we've got the quotient rule this time. So we'll have u equals e to the power of 3x, which means du dx is 3e 3x. v equals 2x, so dv dx is just 2. Then we're going to substitute these into the quotient rule. So dy dx is v du dx, so 2x times 3 is 6x, so 6x e 3x minus u dv dx, 2e to the power of 3x over v squared, so 2x times 2x be 4x squared. We will have to simplify that. We'll divide the top and bottom by 2, half the top, half the bottom, 
say 3x e 3x minus e 3x over 2x squared and we can leave it like that and the two ln questions the first one is a product rule u equals x so du dx is 1 v equals ln 2x so dv dx is 1 over 2x multiplied by the bracket differentiated which is 2 so 1 over 2x times 2 so 2 over 2x which simplifies to 1 over x so we just substitute them into the product rule so we've got u dv dx x times 1 over x is 1 plus v du dx 1 times ln 2x is ln 2x and that's our answer and question 2 so one function divided by another function is the quotient rule so we've got u is ln 3x du dx would be 1 over 3x times the bracket differentiated which is 3 3 over 3x so simplified 1 over x v is 2x so dv dx is 2 then we're going to substitute into the quotient rule so we want v du dx v du dx so 2x times 1 over x that's 2 minus u dv dx 2 ln 3x over v squared 2x squared 2x times 2x 4x squared and we're going to half the top half the bottom which gives us 1 minus ln 3x over 2x squared. And there's our answer.